Democrat coalition just tried to forcibly remove Trump. He responds with incredible surprise. Liberals are absolutely outraged that President Trump called on Americans to boycott the NFL, where they're now trying to make the asinine claim that the NFL is a private enterprise whose First Amendment rights are now being infringed upon. The anti-Trump Democratic coalition has even filed an ethics complaint against Trump earlier this week, claiming the president is using his position to influence the employment decisions and practices of a private entity. But, unfortunately for these clowns, reality has just smacked them right across the face, and Trump has an ace card he's about to play in response to liberals' latest vicious attacks. One thing people don't realize is the NFL currently gets over a billion dollars in taxpayer-funded federal subsidies each year. The fancy stadiums that these entitled players continue to kneel and disrespect our country in were bought and funded by the American taxpayer where we've fought the bill for 20 NFL stadiums since 1997. That said, the NFL's claim that their cooperation, corporation excuse me, is a private enterprise is complete lunacy. Now, outraged fans have an even bigger justification for demanding that these nasty protests stop because these stadiums were bought and paid for by the U.S. taxpayer. Now the NFL's gravy train could shortly be coming to an abrupt halt after what Trump has planned for them. And it goes on how they spent the money for all these uh, stadiums and how much. Now, just three days after liberals filed their ethics complaints on President Trump for his calls to boycott the NFL, they're getting smacked back in the face with a nasty little surprise. There's now a bill currently being reviewed in the House and Senate that would ban the use of money for financing NFL stadiums, meaning their hefty chunk of taxpayer cash could be dried up overnight with a swipe of a pen. Well, how about that? It turns out that there's even more that the government and taxpayers do for those players than just show up at their games and buy their overpriced jerseys. Apparently, our hard-earned money and tax dollars are going to help out with those stadiums that we only get to enter when we pay an additional fee. What's even more problematic for the NFL is that after these subsidies were granted, Americans were promised an enormous multiplier of jobs and benefits in return for their investments. But that's never come to fruition as sports economists have concluded repeatedly that the effects of stadium subsidies on employment and economic activity are negligible or even negative. The NFL, its teams, and its sponsors continue to benefit from a bonanza of tax-free loans, municipal bonds, rent waivers, and property, property tax exemptions, the Daily Wire went on to report. Unfortunately for the anti-American NFL, empty stadiums and plummeting viewership could soon be the least of their concerns. If these subsidies suddenly end, all the NFL would have to fork out their own money to build and man maintain these fancy stadiums, meaning they'd have no choice but to listen to their angry fans and put an end to these protests. As these cocky players continue to disrespect our country, our police, and even every American soldier who has fought, bled, and died to protect America, the one thing they didn't consider was the will of the American people. After refusing to listen to their vast patriotic fan base, now they'll be incurring the full wrath of GOP lawmakers who overnight could ruin everything for them with this wonderful new piece of legislation.
So, in other words, they're attacking Trump, Democratic coalition, filed an ethics complaint against Trump, and then they expect that uh, he's going to sign off so they can get funding. Do these idiots, liberal idiots, I should say, understand what they're doing? And it's too late already. People are disgusted by them. Whether they protest or not, a lot of people don't want to have anything to do with them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.